A lot has changed in retail since 2009. That year, of course, saw consumers pull back during the Great Recession. And the recession did cause numerous ripple effects that really are still present today. At least 130 retailers have filed for bankruptcy since 2009. That's not including grocers and restaurants, according to Alex Partners. Many of those, though, because of high debt payments that couldn't be repaid when they were due, some of that left over from debt taken on during or after the financial crisis. Among the names liquidated during the decade, Borders, Payless, the original Toys R Us, Gymboree, Filene's Basement, and many others. Currently, JCPenney, J. Crew, Neiman Marcus, Asina Retail Group, and Pier One are just some of the names flashing some warning signs of possible trouble to come. But the decade has also seen a lot of growth in retail. It's ushered in new retailers, accelerated new direct-to-consumer models, names like Warby Parker, Allbirds, Dollar Shave Club, Stitch Fix, and many more weren't around a decade ago. Total retail sales, though, X gas cars and restaurants, so that core retail number, have grown more than 46% from $2.62 trillion in 2009 to a forecasted $3.8 trillion if you use the midpoint of the National Retail Federation's annual estimate. Now, the share of sales done online has grown by a big factor, 2.6 times from just 4.3% of total sales in 2009 to 11.2%, at least as of the third quarter this year, according to the Commerce Department. Amazon, we know, a huge part of that growth. eMarketer estimates nearly 40% of all online sales are done on the site this year. Now, while digital does get credit for growth, in-store shopping is still capturing the majority of retail sales. Consumers that reverted to bargain shopping during the recession a decade ago didn't necessarily shift back after. We've seen big growth from off-price and discount retailers like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross stores, dollar stores. They've all grown in store counts, sales, and share price. And then you've got the big box retailers like Target, Best Buy, and Walmart. They've also seen a resurgence.